Shell CEO pay up 50% as soaring energy prices boosted profit, App News. Here's a summary of the article. London, the pay package for Shell CEO jumped by half last year to nearly $12 million, the fossil fuel giant said Thursday, as oil and gas companies made record profits from skyrocketing energy costs that have driven a cost-of-living crisis. London-based Shell paid Ben Van Burden a total of £9.7 million in 2022 as annual company profits doubled to an all-time high of $40 billion because Russia's war in Ukraine sent oil and gas prices soaring. Van Burden's pay includes a £2.6 million bonus and £4.9 million worth of stock, according to the company's annual report. Van Burden stepped down at the end of last year and was replaced by Wales Sawan, who will be paid a base salary of £1.4 million and a bonus that's expected to be bigger than the salary, the report said. Demands have increased for oil and gas companies raking in huge profits to do more to reduce high energy costs that are hurting consumers and small businesses. Opposition lawmakers in Britain have called for an expanded tax on the windfall profits of oil and gas firms to provide more help for households struggling to afford expensive utility bills. This post received a score of 12,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. It's ridiculous that the big three oil companies owe over $1.5 trillion in deferred taxes. The U.S. carried it as a deficit and it reduces the amount of money for national parks and forests. Normal taxpayers, but we need to pay off our mortgage. U.S. GVT, so? Pay up. Henry Hill said it best, fuck you pay me. Words to live by if you are an independent contractor. Or a contract killer I guess. I wish we had a law that stated CEOs and other C-suite could only make 50x maximum your lowest paid employee. It's still an obscene amount of money, but it would also incentivize the greediest of the greedy to increase pay for the folks at the bottom. That's easy. Just tax high income a lot so businesses won't want to throw money away in taxes, and instead reinvest the money into the business instead of overpaying executives who take credit for being in charge during good times. Unless I'm missing something. This just leads to stock buybacks that increase the value of equity for the same executives. Their reported salary, income is only a fraction of their total compensation. This stuff isn't easy and I am so far from a tax expert. But it is worth mentioning that we can do something about this and we can fix these issues and loopholes. But we do not have any political willpower in our representatives to do so. In part because these same companies have legally purchased more than half of our elected officials. I think when most people talk about capping C-suite salary, income, they refer to total compensation, not just salary. Because you are correct, if you cap salary, then they'll just move to stock options or whatever other loophole they can find. Hence why some CEOs take $1 salary but get millions in stock options. We need to up the prices to stay afloat. And tax breaks. Don't forget to lower the taxes. Oh, we had record profits this year, 500% bonus to the top. Funny how prices need to be raised because of a recession that the media and rich are trying to artificially produce, but then CEOs like this are collecting record profits. The math isn't mathing. Fuck you you sack of rotten shit. You could raise wages and help your workers and instead you're just rolling in money like a pig rolling around in mud. When you and your kind end up in hell, I hope the devil gives you the absolute worst kind of torture possible. For all you commies out there this guy worked 1,200,000% harder than you which is why he is entitled to this pay. S. You almost had me there, buddy. Question mark. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.